All right, well, I am back. I apologize about the quick second I needed. Um, definitely some thug tears were shed, so I apologize you guys had to see me in that state. You guys know, for you guys that have been with me for a few years, I've been watching Attack on Titan since season three on the channel, something like that. You guys have seen me at some of my lowest points, or we'll, I don't know. Huh? We're getting into chapter two. This one's called Sinners. R.I.P. officially, the Hanji. I will love you forever and ever. I only managed to fill the tank halfway. Goddamn time limits. I love on your Capone too. And him and Hanji have definitely gotten close over the years, so. I always respect him. Our new main first goal is to find Zeke in the bones of Aaron. Take his head off. I mean, story-wise, I would love that. I don't know if you can do it still, my boy. I love you to death, Levi. I would love that. I would love it. That's one of the reasons why I love Reiner as a character. Can't even make the sins, sinners. So that's what the style, it's Connie, or, all of them. I mean, Reiner had like a mental break in season two. Like he was losing his mentality. That's how much this affects you, you know? It hurts. He, he had a split personality. And it's so symbolic that he's the one helping Connie through this right now, you know? It also calls back to season two when right before they got revealed to Reiner also saved Connie from that Titan, you know? The one thing I love about this show, through nothing but death, sadness, despair, and pain, you and you understand each other, you know? Aaron said the same thing. We're the same, Rainer. Yeah, couldn't he just force you guys to stop going after him? Theoretically, yeah. I mean, what you guys are saying was right. It's like you guys are going through it. He is as well. I mean, we literally saw that at the beginning of this episode. He feels crazy about it. That's us. Oh, wow. Are we going to talk to him right now? Yeah, he's doing the at everybody in Discord. The Eldian Discord. That's a beautiful shot. <laughs> right? I just want to hear his voice. Eren Yega. I kind of like that man, that sentimentality. You all have freedom. I've taken it from the rest of the world and I've given it to you. So I'm not going to take any more. And just like that, they haven't moved forward at all. He's moving forward, but they're physically not. They're stuck in the same spot. There's the Amir right with him. I'm telling you guys, stop talking like there's going to be a separate... We're gonna talk. Talk no juice. That's a Naruto. The saying. You have freedom. I've given it to you. Do what you want. They all just like knocked out. They all fell. Yeah. Because of that split second, they were all in there. But it felt like it was obviously minutes in there. 
They're like, all right, so that plan we just had, we're back to arming square one. You're going to blow him up. And he's the commander now. I forgot what he says goes. That is one of the sad realities of this world. It's only after a certain threshold of pain and sadness do we realize that. But now, it's generally too late when it happens, yep. Oh, they're spitting bars up there on that deck of that shit, man. Are we saying my man Falco can fly? I just got goosebumps. We trying to get back in the game, Annie Falco, <laughs> Gabby. The cool shot of this train. That's not L that's not Annie's dad, is it? That looks I think that's Annie's dad. I respect it. Cause this is cause Annie's dad knew because he heard the uh, the Discord message and he was telling everyone, but no one was believing him, right? Yeah, this is all the family, yeah, Reiner's parents. So no, these are uh, Gabby's parents. That's Reiner's mom. Yep, because they're related. Gabby and Reiner are like cousins, right? Oh, they're all leaving. Man, that is so long to get to the top. You have to spiral the entire mountain. That's the rumbling. Oh my god. After they made it this far to the top of this fucking thing. Thankfully, this is where Fort Salva, right? This is where our guys should be going in our airship. Instilled and fostered it. That is some nuance right there. Instilled hate and thought it would bring us salvation. Yeah. That might be the most self realization observative general we've seen. That dude's a smart man. If, by some miracle, he managed to have a future again. Shouts out this guy. I don't want to pause it real quick, especially because we're doing an, an intense scene. I've always been a fan of the saying that hard time or yeah, hard times make hard men like that dude who then in turn make soft times who create soft men. And I'm not trying to say that to any, do any kind of political uh, con uh, commentary, but think about it like a situation like this wartime creates these men who have vowed to never experience this again so they create a better life for those around them who have never experienced anything like this who then turn it back into this crazy world who then repeats the cycle over and over again i'm a firm believer of that and this is somewhat saying kind of similar to the same thing you know tragedy creates more tragedy which creates more tragedy someone needs to stop that cycle was she thinking about when she was pregnant with reiner Aww, aww. Look at a baby little Reiner. That's so fucking twisted how happy she was that he became a warrior for her, not for him at all. Yeah, she is fucked up for that. And the general just saying this over the mic is what made her realize this. We instilled fear and hatred. I'm so glad we're having some self realizations in this shit. Yep, the parents do feel bad. Yep. Oh, I love the adults in this shit right now. Our era of... Is it crazy it's not taking you being on the verge of death to finally understand this? Where people take care of each other. That's so... I love the political nuance of this show. What is he doing? Orbital bombardment. Look at that shot. Woo! Imagine, obviously, you'd still be nervous as hell, but imagine watching that. That'd be crazy. I wonder Mappa said it was going to take them longer than they thought to work on this, bro. Imagine, like, this looks incredible. Fire alone on these 3D models. Everything in here is looking... He's creating a Warhammer-like dummy. Yeah. 
he created a Zeke out of the Warhammer ability and with the music he's just shredding them one after the one after, two after the next look at that shot oh my god are all destroyed that's the craziest thing to me okay that, that's so creepy A child sees it too. I like that. Everyone's giving up home, hope, and they see a, an airship. What is that? I still don't even see anything. Oh my god, that kid's got some eagle vision. Oh my god. That, is that Zeke himself? I guess so. I just thought Aaron like made a fake Zeke. But I guess that's Zeke in the bones of Aaron. We knew he was in there. I just didn't. Okay, I guess no one's got that an arm quite like Zeke does. Pulls up at the last second, beautiful. <laughs> Look at this fucking shot with the music going on right now. I got goosies all over. Look at this. Never in my life that I think we would be using ODM gear in this amazing way. Scaling Aaron, scaling Aaron himself. Listen to this song. Look at this shit, bro. We got Peak as well with the explosives from the ship on her. Come on, on your Capone. Come on. Land on, make an emergency landing on that on that fortress. Come on. They're like, wait, are they teaming up? Right? They're like, this is a crazy turn of events. They were not expecting this. Once we drag you out of there. Don't end right here, please. I will fight someone. I swore on everything I love them. You already know this song is getting added to the playlist immediately after this. Ah, oh, there's so much. Oh, with the tree cutting over to the tree and the for the coordinate. The Idrisil World Tree? This is so symbolic. This show. Alright, so I just finished the episode. I just finished the special, whatever you want to call it. I can very, very happily, proudly say that one, this was worth any sort of weight. Any sort of expectations I had, this hit it and went beyond. So I must I must thank you, Mappa. I must thank you personally um like i said huge shout out to mappa huge shout out to isayama the amount of writing everything that went down in this episode i can firmly say that that was one of the hardest i've cried in a very long time especially on the channel and i cannot believe just that this is ending like yes we have like i think six more months until we have to, we have the actual ending you know like the final 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 part but because i've been watching some of you guys are different. Some of you guys are the exact same. I've been watching AOT since it aired originally week by week in over here in America. Season one was the crazy. There was like a four or five year gap between season one and season two. But I've been watching the show for what I think was like 10 years. And so for it to finally be like this, it feels like so amazing, yet crushing, yet beautiful, yet sad at the, at the same time because it's ending. But it's, it's so it's such a hard emotion to try to describe. I'm just so glad. A big portion of you guys have been able to share some of these emotions with me over these years because man when i tell you this brings out a different side of me that no other show could i am not lying i cannot believe how incredible this was i have to kind of like scroll through. it was so long but it felt like it was over in a flash the first part was about us escaping us getting out of there it felt like an, an extra episode on the last season Oh, and it started with uh what was the name ramsey and hamil halil and then the, and how that connected to aaron which it's so symbolically i know i said that the word symbolic a hundred times throughout this episode it's so well done like i just i cannot think of how someone can write this complicated it's such complex writing to have everyone be sinners everyone somehow be the same like connie who feels for aaron now 
who, which Aaron feels for everyone who like felt for Reiner, who now feels for Aaron, who John feels for, who now feels for like Gabby and Falco, who now feels for like Annie, who now feels for, you know, it's like, and I love how it all came together at the end with the parents and the general of Marley, who's like, to a certain extent, this, what we're going through right now, even though it's all Aaron, is our fault. We fostered hatred, despair, pain, revenge. We instilled it on a newer generation and are surprised that the cycle never ends. Like, And I love how they all take, take a vow. They said, hey, if we somehow, by a miracle, make it out of this, we will make a world in which everyone cares about each other. And no one, <laughs> I love that, but I hate it at the same time because it's like, that's that's the true reality of the world. No one realizes until hindsight until it's too late that this is how we should have done things. And it's like, like I love the that Reiner was the first Aaron, who then created Aaron, who then created the third Aaron with Gabby, who then like this site like it's like oh bro, this show is so. This is why this, in my opinion, in terms of writing, like shows like this Hunter Hunter. This is why Attack on Titan and Hunter Hunter are in my top three of shows animes of all time because they have writing like this that just. You can be a shallow surface level watcher. I'm not saying that in a bad way and completely enjoy the hell out of this. Or you could get into the depths and find so much more, not only upon your first watching, upon rewatching, upon re, you know, everything. I loved Levi saying Shinzo, Sasage, Oda Hanji. I have to give, that was, like I said, that was the hardest I've cried in so long. I love Hanji so much. One of my favorite characters, nothing but pure unrequited love for Titans. As Levi said, just wanting to dis discover the truth. She chose Armin as her next successor. It broke me when she woke up, was like, what's going on in the boat? And she was in heaven with Ervin and everyone else talking about their stories. It gave me like, I'm going to start crying again, thinking, talking about it. Whew. It gave me like uh, Kakashi. I'm not going to say anything for uh, Naruto, but there's a certain character that's that knows Kakashi that s something very similar happens in this with that. And it, so similar and it it made me cry then during naruto and it made me make me cry now so goddamn is this shit beautiful love this shit was worth the wait cannot wait for the next one hopefully you guys will be there to watch it with me if you enjoyed this please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below all that jazz have a great day dapper squad tell someone you love them please you never know when the rumbling might start peace out you guys